Hello, today I have this Bosch ECU, it's a EDC 16C39 and it comes from a Fiat Ducato. This ECU, it is also fitted in Opel cars. Today I will make a reading of this ECU with FC200. Let's see if the FC200 can read this one, because I saw the, in the software they have um, two versions it's able to read this ECU. And let's give a try. This ECU I try with Flex through OBD and it doesn't work. When you connect for Opel, for example, Opel Zafira, there's no chance to read this one. I must to dismantle the issue and I will show you after this reading I will connect the flex. But if I will try to read this issue through Fiat Ducato on Fiat cars, you don't have problem. It can be done 100% to OBD. I didn't understand from which reason, maybe this is the BSI problem, who don't, doesn't allow, or who the fuck knows. Because it's the same issue, same pinout, and everything is the same. You need the adapter, you need this adapter from uh, FC200. We make the connection according to the diagram. I will start the software. The connections are already done. Okay, we do have an update. It's good because this programmer, it comes all the time with new updates. They improve a lot of protocols, but we should give also support for this company. And if you want to have good checksum correction, you should allow them to make a copy when you make these readings. I will show you when we do the readings. Okay, we go on Fiat. This is our ECU type. Okay, but uh, the same connection and same issue, you can also read it from here. It's the C9. Pay attention on the connection. You need only Kaline and GPT-1 and GPT-0. And now we go back and we take the C39. You have how many versions? Four versions, I believe. Yes. Ours will be the version number two. I take the correct one because if you will uh, request me for permission to take a backup of this dump, I want to be sure I will send the right one. Okay, let's connect to the ECU. You notice here is test version. They are not sure if uh, work 100%. Okay, first of all, as I said, I will read the flash because most of the time we modify the flash. And if you want to have automatically a correction, the software, the company should have also the original dump inside and they can compare after that. Same procedure have also another uh, programmers and other companies. Also, if they don't ask you, when you make the readings, you send First the damp on the server and after that you can, the programmer will show you to save on the PC. Because let's take Flex. Flex, it will work only with internet. You see the interface is the internet interface. Everything what you read, you will send them on the server. And not only Flex, all of the companies, all these big companies. This is the reason why they have so many maps. It's almost finished. It's not bad for a ECU who is uh, read it on cans. Okay, it's finished. We save this one. And now we proceed to read the EEPROM. We save also this one. And now we know for sure this ECU, the EDC 16C39, you can do it also with FC200. Then for Fiat cars and Opel cars, if you have this type of issue, be sure the FC200 have no problem to read this issue. Okay, and if you want now to write the data back, but I don't have a, a software installed on this Windows where I can modify something. Of course we'll do, doesn't have a problem to make this job, but in this case it's the similar dump and he will don't see we have differences. I'm sure he will make this quite fast. Okay. Everywhere it uh, show us skip the partition because they are similar. For those people who have a limited uh, budget, they can buy this programmer. It's not bad. Mount after mount, they improve. They send all the time updates. And for his money, it's quite good. Okay. Okay. Now I will uh, stop recording here and I will uh, go fast to. Uh, Install the Flex and I will show you uh, Flex is not able to read this one through OBD. Maybe if you manage to read this one on Opel Zafira through OBD, let me to know with which programmer, because I couldn't manage to read this uh, issue on the car. It was necessary to take the issue out. 
Okay, flex is connected as I said. This is the car what I tried to read with the same issue. I mind the EDC 16C39. Okay, it's this one. And you noticed we have only bench and boot. We have these uh, versions from here. When I read this issue, I go back and I'll show you on the last use. It was this one, because according to my car, I have it only 100 uh, horsepower, not 110. And he will jump me to EDC 16C9. Okay, it's also bench. We have only one diagram here. But as I said, you cannot read this uh, issue through OBD. I don't know for much reason. It, it's also funny because when you make this uh, kind of readings with uh, EDC 16C9 and you try to modify something, the dump on the car, let's say for example the EGR or AdBlue or it doesn't have AdBlue but DPF, the map is not the same. The software it doesn't find the uh, DPF and also the EGR, okay, because it's in different position located. And if I will take the same issue, EDC 16C39 from Fiat. Let's put here Fiat. Fiat EDC 16C39. Okay. You'll notice the Fiat, it can read this issue also on OBD. I don't have OBD bench, it's straight with the red adapter, it's the normal one. The green one, it's use it for BMW. Okay, and also the bench. It's the same connection, okay. I don't know from, from which reason, as I said, maybe because of the BSI, it doesn't allow it, who the fuck knows, but it's just not possible, okay? It was only a short information. I go also through these things here with Flex because I'm sure I have a lot of subscribers, beginners, they, they need information and also not only the beginners because we should share between us the information. Okay, and before to close, let's go also back. Let's go back. Let's try to see if the Fiat have also C9. And it doesn't have this one or... No, it have this one also with 100 PS. Fiat also, it cannot read this issue through OBD if you are trying to read like C9, okay? You can also tell me which programmer can read this issue through OBD. But leave me a comment below only if you are the one who read this issue through OBD, not because you see on the internet somebody else, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.